Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial where we'll be looking at drawing, creating a landscape drawing in Google Drawing. Now, the interesting thing about Google Drawing is that it's great and easy to use. However, there's not a shortcut to it on the Google Waffle. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to your browser and write drawing. Okay? And you'll find um, that it will pop up. And that's the easiest way to get to it. Okay? So I'll put the link into the um, into the description of this video. Okay. Now I'm doing a landscape drawing. So what I suggest is that I uh, change the shape of the paper. So that's pretty easy to do, similar to how you change the shape on other uh, other Google apps. Okay. So you just go into page setup. Okay. And I like to change it using the pixels. So uh, I think I'm going to go for one two eight again. So this is going to give me a nice wide screen to work on. Okay. Now, when doing this, um, I'm going to be just using shapes. So I'm going to draw one line. I'm going to start by drawing one line. What? Let's do that again. Right along the horizon. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'd like you to draw a three mountains, a mountain in the middle, okay. then two mountains to either side of the large mountain in the middle. So we're going to have three mountains on our landscape. One, two, three. Yeah, fantastic. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a lake in front of one of the mountains. So I'm going to have a nice little lake over this side here in front of the third mountain. Okay. And this is a landscape where we're going to have people living. So I'm going to draw some houses. And houses are very easy to draw. Okay. Simply a square. And a roof on top. Now the good thing about Google uh, Drawing, an easy thing to do, is that if you're happy with something, you can copy and paste it. So I'm happy with this house, so I'm going to click Control and C. I'm going to paste it three times, because I'm going to have three houses. One, two, three. I'm going to line them up there. And three roofs. Line those up there like that. Okay. You can see these red lines are very good at helping you to line things up neatly. Okay. Um, to make the house look a little bit better, I'm going to add a door and a window. So I'm going to add a little door here and a window. And a bit later on, I'm going to go in and do the coloring. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. Okay. So I'll put those windows in the other houses too. Okay, so our landscape is starting to take shape. Now, to improve the environment, um, we're going to have some trees. So trees are also very easy to do. And there's two types of trees you can make easily. There's your traditional tree, which looks rather like this. Okay, and we can also, I'm gonna make a few of those, I'm gonna make three of those. And as well as a sort of traditional sort of uh, tree like that, we can also do a palm tree. So I'm going to do a nice large palm tree next to the houses over here. And to make the palm trees, I like to use the um, these kind of explosion ones. Okay, great. And I think I'll duplicate that as well. Oh, that's a mistake. Okay, all right. Now another thing that I know um, children love to draw, students love to draw, are vehicles. So I'm going to draw a truck here, driving into my neighborhood, delivering you know, essential food and supplies. So there we go. A couple of big wheels on that. Okay, fantastic. 
fantastic. Okay, um, so it's looking looking good. There's a bit more space that you can add some other things. I'm going to add a couple of things in the sky now. So we can add a sun up at the top corner here, and also let's add a couple of clouds as well. So a cloud over here, and then a little cloud over here as well. Okay, and another space down here to add something else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding color. Color is very easy to add. You simply click on the uh, fill color option. And you can choose the color of your mountains. I'm going to go for some very dark looking mountains. OK. And our trees, let's make those nice and bright green. Okay, so you can go around and um, you know, color all these as you as you like. Okay, you can see right, once you start. Oh. Okay, you can see as you start coloring those, it, it uh, really kind of fills out the picture, makes it look really nice. Okay, and you can color the clouds and everything as well. Okay, now something that we need to add now, because at the moment this has got a transparent background, and Google Drawing is great for when you want to make. Um, PNGs, what have you, with transparent backgrounds. But for this, I really don't, don't want it to have a transparent background. So I'm going to change the background to a, a nice blue. So we click here and click on background. And we can choose a nice light blue for the background there. OK. But obviously, that's also made the grass green. OK. Sorry, the grass blue. And I want to make the grass green. So how to do that? Well, take make a box and draw a big box right over all the grass and then color it green now of course the problem is that at the moment that's covering everything else so what you need to do is click your right mouse button click order and center back and there you have it okay so you know Google drawing it's not something that's used that often but I think it should be used a lot more often it's really really a fun app to use Okay, and um, it also helps with you know developing some important um, sort of design skills, which they'll use in more advanced programs later on. Okay, so and at the end of it, also remember to do a little text box and put your name in there. And I think it's also nice to make sure we have a nice font with that. Okay, so. Again, that's another good thing that we can practice using. Okay, oh, I'm going to have this big one, big one here. Teacher's notes. Okay, so there you go. A very simple, straightforward, but very useful landscape lesson, landscape painting lesson in Google Drawing. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. We're going to have another lesson with Google Drawing, looking at how to draw funny faces. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please click like and remember to subscribe, and do check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.